Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, October 5th, 2011, and welcome to Trading the GLD. Um, we're looking here at a weekly chart of the GLD. This is the gold uh, ETF, exchange traded fund, one of the most uh, traded funds uh, there is, and uh, certainly riding the uh, momentum of gold. And you can see on a weekly chart that um, uh, we bottomed out here in uh, mid-January and uh, started a big run up here to 153, pulled back down here uh, to 143.97, uh, forming a nice channel, uh, upper and lower channel lines here. Uh, in August, um, we really broke out and got way ahead of this channel um, in, up here in what I call rarefied air. And uh, it was ripe for a correction. It hung up here for, uh, what, one, two, three, four, six, uh, six weeks and then uh, fell back into this channel. Now, what's interesting is, is when you draw a line along the lows here, we are still respecting this lower channel line. So um, this is an interesting uh, uh, um, idea to trade off of. And uh, uh, you can see that we've had uh, three tight uh, uh, closes. Well, if we close this week uh, in this area, it'll be three tight closes here. So it seems to be that there's some support uh, coming in uh, down at this area here. So using a weekly chart, we've established a trading idea. Now, what I like to do is I like to drill down and go to the next level down, which will be a daily chart. Now, looking at a daily chart of the GLD, we can see this, uh, this massive breakout here and a big run up here, uh, sort of a double top here. Got to 184.82 uh, here, pulled back all the way down to 165 uh, and then uh, back up here to 185.85. Um, taking out the previous high, which was a bullish sign, but uh, uh, quickly pulled back here, uh, uh, getting support here at this red line, which is the 21-day moving average. Now, uh, tried to rally back, uh, couldn't do it, and then failed. And then, of course, a couple of weeks ago, we had this uh, massive uh, uh, selling here, this gap down through the 50-day line, uh, had support there for one day, thought we would stall there a little bit, uh, didn't happen and then uh, completely broke down all the way down here to 154. Now, as I mentioned in the weekly chart, uh, the trend line that had been established on the weekly chart is still in place here. And you can see it uh, now as we uh, get uh, into the daily chart action, you can see the support here. Now, there's a couple ways to trade this. Uh, a very low risk trade would be to set a stop just under this low here of 155.27. Uh, maybe just 10 cents under that, uh, 155.17, um, and uh, you're not risking uh, too much, uh, um, maybe just two points, and uh, and play that if that'll hold, which uh, will mean that this established trend line will be in place and uh, and that will hold. Another way uh, uh, would be to put a little bit uh, under this one here at 154.09, uh, giving it a little bit of room there. Uh, another way to play this would be to, uh, you can see this sort of a flag formation forming. If we do get a breakout above this <coughs> uh, trend line here, uh, drawn along the tops here, uh, that would uh, uh, be a breakout here. And you could get a run back up here uh, to this red line, which is the 21 day moving average, which incidentally is falling very rapidly. Uh, <coughs> right now it's at, uh, at the 168 level. So uh, there's some possibilities here. Uh, what what we're doing on a daily chart though is we're fighting a battle right around this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. So uh, gold is consolidating in this area with support down here. Now I personally like to see a bit more of a trend established on a daily chart before I commit money. Uh, we've got uh, um, basically a pattern here uh, where we came up off of 154.19 and got up here. It was about the 162 level and then uh, pulled back here, uh, didn't take out this low here, and then rallied up to 161.56. So we didn't get above this previous little peak here. Uh, so what we have is, a, um, is a, a lower high, and we have a higher low. So we're sort of just kind of go, uh, moving back and forth here. I like to wait till a little better of a trend is established before I would, I would go in. Now another thing I do is even go down another level, uh, down to the 60 minute chart. Now, going down into an hourly chart can give us more clues as to uh, the, the direction and the momentum of, uh, of the GLD. And the first thing I noticed here is that we have a bearish configuration of moving averages. And what I mean by that is that your 200-day moving average, this uh, black dotted line, and uh, your green uh, dotted line here, which is the 100-day uh, moving average, uh, this is below the 200. This is not a good sign. 
And also the 50 day, which is this blue solid line, is below the 100. You like to see the opposite. You want to see the 50 above the 100 and the 100 above the 200 to show that, uh, that your moving averages are in an uptrend here. Um, so this is uh, uh, one of the weaknesses I see. Now, uh, another uh, weakness I see is uh, we do have a sideways action here. But what happened here, here's that 162.29 I talked about. Pulled back here to 155.56 and then rallied back up to 161.56, which did not take that out. So we did not establish a pattern of a higher high. Okay, so that, that means that we are technically not, technically not in an uptrend when you start analyzing the waves of, of, this, uh, of this hourly chart here. And also the 155.27 slightly took out the 155.56. So really what you have, even though it looks like a sideways action, is a slight downtrend. So I don't like that either. So uh, I would hold off on, on trading the GLD until we get a firm um, uptrend uh, intact or you may even want to short it if we get a good downtrend intact. So I call this um, holographic trading and uh, as you uh, may know a hologram is a bunch of small uh, images that are exactly the same as the uh, uh, larger image that you see. Uh, so basically you can uh, uh, drill down into a stock and look at it at, at, uh, through multiple time frames. Uh, almost like a hologram, which gives you great insights into the true direction of, uh, of the uh, movement of a, of a stock, or in this case, an exchange-traded fund. And I'll be doing more of these videos to further explain this and to get you used to this type of trading, but uh, I found it really helpful, and it saved me a lot of money because, uh, you know, when you're committing uh, money to, to a new um, uh, position, you want to have the optimal entry point. And by drilling down into um, uh, some of the quicker time frames like the hourly chart, you can really start to see things. So I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.